Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Lynch. Glad you can make it to The Honest Pantry. Hallelujah! All this month, I'm celebrating chicken and I want you to come along for the ride. This chicken recipe is one of my favorites and I'm sure it'll end up in your recipe Rolodex soon enough. Basil and cherry tomatoes, onion and garlic, lemon and oregano, olive oil, chicken. Let's get down to business. First things first, we gotta season our chicken on both sides. Why on both sides? Because you're eating both sides. Hit it with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of oregano. Flip and repeat. This chicken recipe brings back really, really good memories. This is the first recipe that I ever did in culinary school. And when you know it, I burned it. But thanks to my chef mentor, Randy Shermy, pointed out where I had gone wrong. And since then, I've been making it good ever since. So Chef Randy, this one's for you. Now that this chicken is prepped, let's move on to the other ingredients. Here's a quick trick to make it go by in an instant. Take a small bunch of cherry tomatoes, place your hand on top, and slide your knife right along. You are like a tomato cutting god or goddess right now. Maybe a couple more tomatoes. In school, we got graded on our knife skills. In your kitchen, no one is grading you. If you want minced garlic, that's fine. If you want sliced garlic, you have at it. This is your chicken dish, and at the end of the day, you're gonna be the one enjoying it. Let's dice half an onion. and a nice big handful of basil. You can see that I've been putting everything into the same bowl, and the reason why is because it's all gonna cook at the same time. This is a very, very quick recipe that's gonna cook like that. Like you can blink, like, like that, and it'll, it'll already be ready. Let's move over to our preheated saute pan and get this chicken started, because I am hungry. We want to start this cooking process by breaking down our tomatoes and caramelizing our onions just a little bit. So add a little bit of olive oil to your pan. And this is why this recipe is so simple. Everything in this bowl goes into this pan. Ah, oh, the aromas of tomato and basil releasing into the air. Mm. Since this is a very quick recipe, I want to make sure that this pan is on high heat so the tomatoes and onions immediately start to break down. Right when you start to see everything begin to break down, that's when you need to add your chicken. Create a little spot in your pan and simply lay down the chicken. Now that's what I call a celebration. If you're just beginning at cooking, this is a great recipe to start with. Simple ingredients, simple flavors, big results. Great date night dish. When you see your chicken starting to turn white, that's your indication to flip it over. At this point in the cooking process, we want to begin to build our sauce. Head back over to your olive oil and dump some in. How much olive oil? That much olive oil. With the help of some water, and let the chicken do the rest. I'm already licking my fingers and that's a good sign. To finish off this chicken dish, we're gonna just put a little bit of lemon to brighten everything up. That's it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This chicken saute hits the spot every single time. And it all happened in one pan, so that means you only have one pan to clean up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And in the description below, tell me one of your favorite food memories. I'm Jonathan Lynch. We'll see you next Monday. And remember, your kitchen is never complete without the Honest Pantry.